Hey, I'm so happy to see you. I'm Shamapti and it's so good to be here. And today I have my top 10 Indian Pharmacy Skincare Picks of 2023. And I'm so excited to share the list with you. The number one thing I have is Borolin. This saved my skin because I think you have seen this reels. If you have not seen, I have made these shots and reels. So my skin peeled up. I mean real bad and I applied this cream and it healed my skin in I think three to four days. I didn't have any marks or any scarring from that peeling situation. It actually works. I also use this as my lip sleeping mask, as foot and hand cream. Also I use this as spot treatment for wounds or if I have this peeling situation I hope I don't have it again. Many people they asked me if I use this for pimple see i used this once just to test it but i would say those kaolin clay based spot treatments work better for pimples at least for me and for entire face i tried it long time back i forgot how it worked for me so i'm gonna give it a try for you and let you know how it works for me as an overnight uh night cream up next i have ulac this is eury and lactic acid cream so this is for feet i use this for feet as exfoliating foot cream it works really well if you have flaky feet it works really well for that i also have tried lac soft those things are nice but i think this formula is better i think this is better than moisture x i mean it works better for my feet than moisture x and like i mentioned it has ages so it has exfoliating properties and very good exfoliating foot cream i don't use this for anything else to be very honest but you can use this for your knees and underarms if you want to and then i have this uh, cleanser this is from glow nice so it's a very good mandelic acid based cleanser it has also so very gentle surfactants it has licorice and all those skin brightening ingredients so if you want brighter uh, skin if you want a mild exfoliating cleanser you can give it a try the scent is a bit strong though but it didn't eat it my skin up next i have their eye gel from niamax i tried their eye cream long time back which didn't work that well for me but this one does it has peptide exfoliants it brightens up my under eye area if my under eye area feels like dehydrated dull it works there also I'd recommend their Niamax G gel this is a niacinamide panthenol based gel you can use this for your entire face and this one you can use for your under eye area so these are very nice things from Niamax and this has been my favorite for I think more than three years very good affordable niacinamide based product you know very very good this is for brightening up your skin for evening out your skin tone it also takes care of your skin barrier because it has niacinamide next you have a lightweight cream this is for moist their face and body lotion the texture of this cream is so good very lightweight gel texture so you don't like you know very thick moisturizes you're gonna love this one but again it has fragrance uh, though it didn't irritate me but if your skin is allergic to fragrance then maybe it won't work for you but it works well for me texture is very nice and it has all the hydrating ingredients so if you have dehydrated skin if you want this dewy glow this moisturizer can be the best option for you from pharma skincare because most of pharma moisturizers are kind of thick up next i have this cream for dry rough skin it has urea which can moisturize hydrate your skin it has salicylic acid which is a bha lactic acid which is an aha so these are gonna exfoliate your skin and salicylic acid also gonna work on your body acne it has oat ceramides hyaluronic acid so i use this for the body if you have rough skin if you have kp this is gonna work for you the quantity is very good and yeah it really works really well this is fragrance free formulation you also can use this for reducing tanning because lactic acid or any of like exfoliating acids can uh, work on reducing tan but since it has exfoliating acid make sure you are using sunscreen properly when you need to and here yeah, this is a very good body exfoliating cream and i like this more than lack soap i still have this hydrating serum this is from you dharma their ha serum it has this very beautiful lightweight gel texture it feels very hydrating on the skin it has ha 
arginine, peptide, panthenol, a very good lightweight, no nonsense formula to have in your skincare routine. If you have dehydrated skin, it's gonna work really well for you, but make sure you're applying this on damp skin. Now I have this one acne UV gel. This is not a gel sunscreen to be very honest. This is a highly silicone based sunscreen and this is very popular because it's a very good sunscreen to give you this matte look and it is water resistant and very good dupe of this would be Requil blue sunscreen very similar texture and yeah but that one has less fragrance the fragrance is kind of strong here but it works for me this is actually one anhydrous formulation which means it doesn't have water and it has bunch of chemical sunscreen filters old school and it also has physical sunscreen filters and i do understand why this is so popular because the texture is very nice it has no white cast the matte look that it gives very silky finish that one you get when you use a silicone based primer this kind of a thing so yeah very good sunscreen but we do have other alternative to this like the recoil one or any like you know anhydrous formulation with chemical filters would feel the same and the last thing i have is this one from Xera, their moisturizer for itchy skin it actually works for itchy skin because my legs can get itchy sometimes and it really works there this is the Excella max it actually has bunch of occlusives to prevent the water loss and it also has a few emollients and panthenol the fragrance is there but it's not too much and i quite like it i also like their Excella niacinamide moisturizer for face which works really well for me and if you have dry itchy skin then you definitely can try this one it works really good for my legs and hands so yeah there you have it my top 10 picks from pharma indian skincare i really hope you find this to be helpful and if you have any more recommendations then let me know or you can share the best pharma skincare that you have tried this year it's gonna be really helpful for us and i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye